Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So it's been raining cats and dogs here in the Bay Area. I mean, yesterday was just like nonstop raining all day. So I had to like brighten up this clip. So I'm hoping it's not too bright when I'm editing. So again, still learning the lights and tricks of the camera and what works best of course is natural lighting. But if you guys can see, it's like so gray outside. So anyways, it was just making me so dark. I've been actually recovering from a cold that I got earlier this year. Year. I mean that sounded like a while ago. Seriously, I had a cold for like two days and it, it was lingering and I don't know if you can hear from my voice but but I mean I'm okay. I'm better. I'm ready to film for you guys and I'm ready to just be in front of the camera. I've been waiting to film this video but I just wasn't well enough. I know I will be doing the voiceover while I'm doing the demonstration but I still wanted to let you guys hear my voice and I wanted to say hi to you guys. Anyways, let's just get started with this video. So in this video I'm going to be doing the demo and review on this guy this is called the clean and dry I actually don't know the name of it does it even have a name I'm sure it does and I'm sure you guys seen this all on social media especially on Instagram with all the ads that this can clean your brushes you know what I really don't know the name of it it just says clean and dry kind of looks like a Jack Daniels design where it's just all black with white letterings and just like sort of these little decals. This is how the box looks like. It tells you all the brushes that you can use with a different size. You got the bowl, you got the little handle or nozzle. This is how it looks like. This is how it should look like when you clean. And yeah, that's basically it. I got this for my birthday, uh, which was two weeks ago. So I'm so excited. I saved this video and I saved my dirty brushes just for this. So this is it right here. I'm gonna open this so we can see what the label and instructions is all about. This is the manual. It's really simple. It just says clean and dry, clean and dry. Look at that. <laughs> Basically the same pictures as on the box. Very, very simple. Let's see. So clean and dry. And I'm still assuming this is the name of the product. So clean and dry instructions. Professionals recommend you clean your makeup brushes every two to four weeks. Uh, I would say every week, especially if you're using a lot of face brushes because you produce oils on your face. And if you're dipping into the same or different palettes and you keep on putting on your face or using that same brush throughout the day to mattify any oils, yes, the brush will produce oils on the hairs or the bristles. And in time, if you don't clean it, it will harden and it'll hurt your face and it'll also break your face out. Anyways, this is what this says. So that's my opinion. <laughs> But traditionally, cleaning methods are messy, laborious, and can leave brushes wet and unusable up to 24 hours. This product leaves brushes clean and dry, ready to reuse in just 30 seconds. What? I don't know about that. Get the most of your makeup brushes with our products. Okay, so I actually use Cinema Secrets, which is a very fast drying formulation where you can actually use right away. I bring that in my makeup kit because on site, sometimes I have multiple jobs in a day, or if you have a big wedding party, you have a million faces to paint. So with my hundred brushes that I have, sometimes I do reuse that same one brush for that one particular part of the face, and I can't reuse it on the same client. So I use that fast drying one to clean it. With this, this, it actually soaks it in water so I feel like you may not be able to use it right away but again I've never used this so we'll see because I want to see how fast this dries so please note that both makeup brushes and this device are delicate please carefully read and follow instructions for starting and keep them for future reference as you can see in this little description here it has the neck, the ring, the bowl. I don't know if it comes with it because I didn't see it in the box, but you need two AAA batteries. You have the spindle. You have eight different nozzle sizes and you also have the base. So I'm going to show you. you. Have the neck, you have the ring. You're basically just going to put this in here. And this is basically just going to be like a bumper guard or what you call a washer just in between this and the bowl so it doesn't leak out. So you can insert it just like so. And it has like a little suction cup with this rubber guard. So it just kind of does not go like that. But there we go. The picture is a bit unclear by the way because the font and the color of it. Yeah, this actually 
is a little bit tighter, so it goes on pretty well. So I will get a little bit closer, but I'm just gonna show you how this goes. So this is just a plastic bowl. At the end of this has a little triangular shape, and I'm just going to put it accordingly to whichever shape this fits in, and this looks about right. So just for fun, I wanna put a brush in here. This seems a little bit loose, but again, I'm not sure how this is gonna work. Let's try this one. This one's actually brand new. And I haven't used it yet because I haven't cleaned it. Oh, this fits pretty snug. You see that? Oh, I see. So the reason why it has this nozzle is because it wants you to fit the actual brush size into each little, little rubber guards. And it again, it has a triangular shape and you just place that in there. You basically just push the button when the battery comes here and make sure you put soap and water. So let's demo this out. So before we get into this brush cleaner tutorial, I'm going to be using the Cinema Secrets. This is one of my favorite fast drying formulation brush cleaners. I don't pack this whole thing in my kit. I normally place it in a small little spray bottle, spray it on a paper towel, and I'll wipe it until the makeup is clean. Now I'm not a bad makeup artist, I promise. I normally do my deep cleanses of my brush cleaning usually once a week, and I also usually use brush shampoo. Now I actually ran out of brush shampoo. It's actually coming in the mail as we speak, but I'm just so excited to try out this gadget. I saved all my dirty and yucky tools for this, so I really want to try this. This here is not just a regular brush cleaner. It actually disinfects, takes all the oils, the dirt, and all that grime. This is actually better than using regular shampoo because the regular shampoo won't clean it as well. It'll just give it a nice smell, but it won't take all that dirt and bacteria out. So at least I'm using something. So let's just jump on into the tutorial. Okay guys, so here are the instructions. Like I mentioned, it's very plain and simple, self-explanatory. Here are all the accessories that were included in the kit. So I just fast forward this part just because there were a lot of pieces. The two batteries weren't included by the way. So I'm just going to insert all the little rubber um, inserters for the brush, I guess you call it, the little nozzles into the proper size. And I'm just gonna take any brush I can just to make sure it fits nice and snug and I will test it out by lifting it upside down to make sure the brushes are not falling down. I noticed that majority of my brushes are more medium size, so I couldn't fit too many brushes at once. Some of them that were a little bit snugged, I was able to still use them. So you see, like I'm kind of forcing it, but it's only because it's super snugged, but it actually doubles up for that size as well. So here I am testing all the brushes to make sure that they are still nice and snugged. Now I want to place that little rubber washer onto the bowl so I can connect all the pieces together. So I'm placing the batteries to the nozzle and I noticed that it only had one button. So that means it only had one speed. I really wish it had two speeds so that way if I had delicate brushes, I could put it on the lower speed and the bigger brushes that needed more abrasiveness that I wish they offered. So here I am beginning to clean my brushes. Hi guys, so I'm just over here. I'm gonna stop the voiceover for just a second. So this is just like so weird because I don't know if it's loose, but it's pretty tight. But look at how crazy it is. I mean, it's vibrating my whole hand. I'm just scared this is gonna be like shh all over the place. So I'm gonna try this and see how this goes. So I'm gonna hold the bowl like this and I'm gonna start cleaning it like this so you guys can see. I'm not gonna put it all the way in the solution yet, but I'm just gonna just... Holy cow. Cause normally, like I said, I just wipe this to dry. I don't know, I'm so scared. Okay, let's try this. Woo! I feel like it goes crazy. See, now I felt like it just jacked up my brush. Okay, so now I understand that it needs to actually 
be pushed down with a little pressure but look at the hair I don't know if you can see it but there's like little bristles coming out it is actually super dry I have to say I'm gonna try it again so I'm just gonna take this off I'm gonna use a bigger nozzle they actually have little triangular shapes that actually matches this little nozzle here so again it won't be flimsy this is a little bit more dirty and I'm gonna try it you see how that just like fanned out that's so pretty okay let's give it a try it's literally spitting around so hard that it's making the water move I haven't even touched it yet it looks like this picture already all right let's give it a try Tell me it just did not jack up my brush. Maybe it didn't. It's from just spinning it. Well, look how much cleaner it is compared to like these other dirty ones. I don't know how I feel about this because I mean, it is dirty. I just can't believe that the water is so brown and black. I've used this for multiple times of foundation and other brush was actually some really pure pigmented shadows it cleaned it really well it didn't clean too close to the base here as much as I usually do when I hand soap to clean it again just by pushing it down I just felt like it's damaging my brush but this is a pretty cool concept for a quick cleanse I would say you have to just reshape them quickly after you're done I'm just gonna pour more solution in this I'm gonna put a little bit more than I did last time in hopes that it'll clean it more and look at that look how crazy it just turns it's like flat oh my god please don't damage my brush so as you can see there's a lot of bronzer and like stuff here I'm gonna clean that guy out oh oh, oh. That is so crazy. It really does make them super, super dry. So I mean, when I wipe them down like this, I don't see anything transferring. The only thing that I do see is like little pieces of the bristles coming off. So I have a lot of brushes to clean. I'm just gonna clean them and then come back and give you guys my final thoughts. I finished washing all my brushes and this is not something that was required for me to do just because the solution that I used actually dries really fast and there's no extra water to wring out however when I normally do a deep cleanse of shampoo after I'm done I put them on this little tree rack and it's a really cool plastic you can take this off you can store it it doesn't take that much space so the purpose of this tree where you hang the brushes is that all the moisture will just kind of absorb and just kind of fall down to the table or wherever you place it but meanwhile other people do lay them down so when you lay them down sometimes the water does come up to this little brass part or this little metal applicator part and it does soften up the glue and it does cause this part to loosen from the wood itself so once again it's not wet it's all dry but this is what I would normally do after I do cleanse them 
all in all I think the concept of this little clean and dry is really cute it's fun it's very trendy I mean you see it on social media I dislike that I had to reshape my brushes that much more after cleaning them it also is understandable because it's really whipping so fast that you know the hairs do go this way but it does kind of fall down naturally but I do like to reshape them so like some of these that are a little bit brown I felt like it wasn't a hundred percent clean these here has like makeup still on the very bottom here and I felt like it wasn't super clean I disliked how it pushes it down like super flat to clean it whereas when I'm shampooing them I'm going to be gentle and just kind of going back and forth and just kind of massaging the hairs to get all that dirt and grime out I am actually going to do another cleanse on these brushes because I just feel like it's not super clean don't know the value of this but I will find everything and research it and I'll put everything in the info box below so once again this is my final thoughts of the clean and dry it's very cute it's fun very trendy I don't feel like it does a deep cleanse enough for me it's really cool and convenient it dries super fast it just was kind of crazy like it was like all over the place so <laughs> anyways I thought it was fun to film this video and I'm gonna go and clean my brushes now so I'll talk to you guys later. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as that will mean the world to me. I'm on my way to the bathroom as we speak and I'm going to deep cleanse these bad boys. If you guys are interested on a updated how I clean my brushes, comment below if that's something that you guys want to see. But I'm going to go do that right now. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!